Hey guys, Crystal here and I am back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I know I have been gone for a long while. Where did I leave my gloves? There they are. I know I've been gone for a while. Um, the last video I did was I asked you guys to um, give me some questions and I want to do a QA and a and I'm still planning on doing that. You guys, I'm so sorry. I mean... I've just been working my butt off. I mean, we are so short-handed at work. It's not even funny. I've been, uh, today was my, um, this weekend was my first day off in 11 days. So I was pretty exhausted. And, um, and I just haven't been able to soap. So I'm sorry. I've been gone. And I do plan on doing that Q&A. I promise I will just a lot of things going on in my life right now um just been really kind of stressed out and depressed and usually soaping gets me out of that stressed out and depressed mood but i just did not have i just couldn't do anything really but go to work and come home and i didn't associate with nobody i've not talked to nobody i've not really been on facebook i've just kind of disappeared for a little while but um, I'm here today doing a soap because I felt like doing a soap and we're doing my favorite which is Sangria Punch. Isn't that beautiful? I have a whole thing of it and it smells so good. And I actually miscalculated this batch. Um, this batch is about a half a pound um, shorter than what I usually soap at but it's okay. We can make it just, you know, shorter bars or whatever. But we're doing Sangria Punch today and then I've got this pink. And I'm going to mix that pink with my, my really red mica. Uh, well, it's not really red. It's from um, uh, Micas and More. It's actually two micas um, put together. And then I'm going to do my orange, which I'm probably going to have to add more to that, and my um, blue, which I might have to add more than that. And then we got white. So I looked up my Sangria Punch from when I've done it, and I've not done it in over a year and I looked at what colors I did, so I kind of have an idea of how I want to do it. But these colors, I think, are going to look really good together. So my candle clay and stuff is already in my bowl. I've got my fragrance right here. So let's go ahead and let's get started with the light. I've got Tussa Silk in my light. Oh, you know what? I need to do my uh, sodium lactate. I forgot to do that. And I really don't have a tablespoon. I, all my soap and stuff is pretty much disappeared. So, one, two, three. All right, that's a good three squirts. We'll just guess that. Heck, I'm used to guessing. Not when it comes to lye or anything, but, you know, you can kind of fudge it a little bit. So, let's get that good and stirred up. And like I said, Tessa Silk is in my, my water here. And I don't even have any milks or anything to use, guys. So... This is kind of like, you know, back to basics, I guess. So I'm going to pour my lye down on my stick blender. I really don't care how fast I pour it in. It don't really matter to me that the stick blender is going to make bubbles regardless, especially since this is a um, smaller batch. But I do like to try to get all of the lye out of there. So hold on a second, guys. I'm going to rinse this out. All right. So our lye is in there. Let's go ahead and get this mixed up. So I taught my daughter how to ride a bike uh, Saturday without training wheels and I am so proud of her. She she came in the house. Hold on, I'll tell you a second. Let me get this mixed. Alright, that looks good and emulsified. Well, there's a little bit of oil still floating at the top, but we're going to mix again with our colors. So I'm not going to um, overdo that. But um, she came in to the house uh, Saturday. She was playing outside and she was just bawling. She's like, Mommy, Mommy, somebody stole my training wheels. And that is ridiculous. Somebody unscrewed her training wheels off of her uh, bike and then took them. And I was just like, oh my God. So you know what? We went out and I said, baby, it's like, you don't need no training wheels. So I taught her how to ride a bike. And I have taught now all of my children how to ride a bike. I've taught them all. Oh, 
hold on, my phone's ringing. Yeah, who that is. So I'm not going to bother with it. But anyway, um, she, you know, she was so proud of herself that she, I mean, and she got it like within minutes. Um, I, I put her up on it and I showed her how, you know, she knew how to pedal. And I put her up on it and she pedaled and she got it like her, 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 her the, the wheel, not the wheel, but the handlebars. She, um, it kind of was wobbly at first, but then she started going straight and, you know, and I was behind her and then I let her take off and then I'd let her go and she got the hang of it. And then within five minutes of her trying, she was able to start it on her own. Like, she was able just to go by herself and on her own. I was like, I'm so proud of you, baby. So, I was very, very proud mama at that moment. I just want to have to nitpick because, I mean, I clean it and it gets stained. And sometimes I forget to clean it, you know, if I splash something up on there. I'm human. Um, you've seen pretty much all my videos. And you know that if I make a mess, I clean it up right away. I don't just leave it there so I just think y'all's nitpicking anyway let's go ahead and get these colors I want to go ahead and add the fragrance because I'm going to be mixing and I don't want to mix way too much and not and then have to mix the um, scent in with it so we're just going to put that in there right away I should have just put it in there when I was mixing everything all together but I might be a little rusty. I've not soaked in several weeks, but it'd be alright. So, oh my gosh, that smells good. Alright, let's go with white first, and I need to put it in there. white it's not too white but it looks good now I'm gonna put a little bit of this red in with this pink we'll see what kind of pink we get so that one. see that's not the pink that I would want so we're gonna add some of this red pretty pretty pink this red does pretty good but you got to use a lot of it to get it like really red so I like to add it to my pinks just to give it a little bit more color so there's that one let's go ahead and do orange looks like a good orange I don't have to add nothing to it yay it's hard to get a good orange you guys it really is and I'm burning up already I think the air conditioning in my house really sucks because I mean I can tell it works but it don't work very well And that looks beautiful too yay everything's working out so far no acceleration no rising beautiful beautiful for my first soap in a while so all right so let's go ahead i got mainly blue on this one so we'll use this one as blue that is so pretty look how pretty that blue is isn't that gorgeous i believe that is let me see let me see let me see it's brilliant blue from nurture soap and i just love it i just think it's so pretty and that red just did the touch with that pink and the white of course is a lot thinner 
than the rest of the soap. Everything's turning out good. So, how have you guys been? I kind of told you what was going on with me, but I didn't ask you guys how you are. So, how are you guys doing? You can comment in the comments below and tell me how you've been, what's been going on with your life, how many, did you get any good soaps made? Because I know I've not been caught up on today's soap making videos I have not watched YouTube in weeks I just kind of didn't do anything you know just worked and came home so I'd like to know how you guys are doing and how your soaps and all that is doing so what color should we start with I think I'm going to go with a little bit of white and I'm just going to lay it on the bottom because that's a little bit thinner and we might go to some make sure you guys can see some pink And I think when I swirl it today, I'm going to swirl it with a little, like a little um, stick instead of a bigger one. I kind of want like little wispy swirls. I think that would look pretty. But we will see how it turns out. This smells so good. I love, absolutely love, love this fragrance. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's wonderful. It smells so good. And I sell out of it. Now, you know, I haven't even been to my shows, guys. I've not been to the flea market. I've not been to none of my shows. I ain't done anything. Like, I mean, I, I've kind of just been depressed. I mean, I'm trying to get myself out of it, but it's kind of hard. My best friend, Stephanie, helps me a lot. She watches my videos, and she's been encouraging me. Crystal, go make a soap, you know relax a little bit and make a soap so I'm like okay I planned on making this soap for all weekend and I never got to it and so my lye wasn't any good by the time I got to it today so I had to dump my lye out and um, get you know do another thing of lye thank god my recipe was sitting right there because if I would have tried to use my regular recipe which is a 3.5 pound batch then I would, it would not have worked out very well with the amount of oils that I did because I accidentally did 3 pounds instead of 3.5 so um other than that I really don't know what else to talk about um I will clear this something up right now though I don't know if there's been any negative comments on my channels like I said I have not been on them but there was one negative comment um, that really irked my nerves and I seen it on my notifications but when I went to my video I did not see it so uh, somebody had to have deleted it for me or reported it I don't know but the girl told me <laughs> she said you are a shitty mom because DCS would not take your kids away if you wasn't a shitty mom and I, I put something down let me clear something up right now DCS never took my kids never they have never taken my kids away I've never lost my children due to social services I still haven't lost my children I am just fighting for them for custody with my husband my husband is mad because I left him he was very emotionally abusive very controlling and he is ticked off that I left him so he is trying to fight me but I just wanted to clarify that for that freaking stupid troll that tried to say I lost my kids I did not lose my kids I'm in the middle of a custody battle with my soon-to-be ex-husband there is a difference I still see my children I still take care of my children I still feed my children I just went and got them school clothes I mean I am holding down a job and I am paying my bills I've not been able to buy any soaping supplies 
but my bills are paid. Like right now, I have to go pay my water bill today. And I just thank God that I have the money to pay it. Because I have worked for it. I've busted my butt. And like yesterday, um, my check was a little bit more than I expected it to be. I think it's from where I worked. I worked so many days without a day off. And I wanted to do something special for Elissa. And, you know, Elissa, um, we don't ever get to go out to eat. I mean, if we do, it's like the dollar menu at, at McDonald's or something. And that's very, very rare. So, I surprised her. And I, I told her to get her butt out of bed. And I wanted her to go to the um, store with me. And she was complaining. She's like, Mom, why are you waking me up just to go to the dang store? And I just said, Elissa, get your butt up. So we fought a little bit and I really didn't want to tell her what I was planning because I, you know, I wanted it to be a surprise. So, um, um, I got her up cause I already told her I wanted to take her out to eat. I told her I wanted to take her out to eat the, uh, the other day, but she didn't know when or nothing like that. So I told her to get her butt up and she got ready and then we, we, uh, left and as we was passing by the, um, the dollar store she's like mom she's like where are you going the dollar store's right there because i had to go get cat food and stuff and i was like well i got a surprise and she's like no way you're taking me out to eat i was like yes so we went to the new brand new mexican restaurant that's right down the road from us they just opened up a couple months ago and um i took her out to eat and i mean it wasn't really that much just for me and her both it was only 22 dollars which is, you know, that's pretty darn good if you ask me. Um, $22 for two people to eat. Oh gosh, that's good. So we had a nice time. We ate and then we came back home. Really didn't do much after that. I need to clean my house, but I was just being so lazy this weekend. Like it's my first, it was my first day off in, you know, two weeks. So I just wanted to enjoy my day. I did not talk to nobody. I did not get on Facebook. I did not do nothing. And and it felt darn good. Because <laughs> I am always on the go. I'm like always on the go, go, go. So it felt nice just to sit back and not do nothing. And I caught up on some uh, female UFC fighters, MMA fighters. I love watching like boxing and MMA, MMA and the UFC I mean I love watching that stuff and I had they had it on YouTube so I kind of did a little marathon of watching some MMA fighting which was kind of nice because most of the time Elissa has the TV and I don't ever get to watch what I want to watch because she's usually watching her shows or she's listening to music or you know whatever Ooh, guys, I'm sweating. Clean up my mess here. I think the only thing I've got left is a little bit of pink and blue. And I think I'm going to swirl it instead of doing a textured top. Well, maybe I'll do a textured top because the soap is kind of low. It's only three pounds. So maybe I will do a textured top. I don't think, no. I don't think I have a spoon actually. We couldn't find any spoons the other day. So I swear my silverware disappears all the time. I gotta buy a new silverware every couple of months. And I don't know why. I secretly I think my daughter's <laughs> pitching it in the trash. I don't know. Alright guys, so here's what she looks like now, and we're gonna go ahead and swirl it. Ooh, pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. pretty. That blue and pink just looks so pretty together. All right, I think I'm gonna put some sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. Well, I'm glad you guys joined me today and let me chit chat a little bit and run my mouth. 
like I said, I've kind of been depressed. So I missed you guys though. I've missed everybody. I need to catch up on your guys' videos. And I need to go ahead and do that Q&A for you. I promise I'll do it. And you'll actually get to see me. What do you know? Hi. Hey everyone. Crystal here. And we are here to unmold my Sangria Punch. I believe that's what it was. Yeah, Sangria Punch. And it's been sitting in my mold for several days. I've not had time to get to it. I've just been working. And I've not felt good the past couple days. I really have not felt very well. So I've not been wanting to get this done. But I knew I needed to get it done. Because I really want to get the video uploaded for you guys. Oh gosh, that is beautiful. A little bit of coming off right there. If I had a paring knife, then I'd be able to do some of those corners. Let me find my paper towels. You know how soap is when it first comes out, it's sticky. But here's what it looks like, my sangria punch. Hopefully you guys can see it right there. And the sides, and the other side. I lost my alcohol spray which would help me tremendously alcohol spray gets soap off mica off got it all over my fingers all right all right here we go get an end piece Ooh, okay that looks interesting I hope you guys can see it's later in the evening down here so let's see how this cuts Ooh, look at those swirls I used a baby skewer this time because I wanted kind of wispy swirls. That looks really good and oh my gosh you guys you have to smell this soap. But like I said in my making video I know I have been in my A and I'm so sorry. Soaping usually helps me with my anxiety, my depression, all that but there's just been so much going on. Aren't those swirls pretty? I just haven't had time, I mean, really, to soap. And it kind of, you know, upsets me because I absolutely love soaping. Like, soaping is my getaway. So, for me not to be able to do it for a couple weeks kind of really bothered me. And I'm hoping to do more. Like, I want to do another one tonight. But I'm scared I'll make it up and then be too tired to do it. And then my lie's sitting out and then it's no good. Because after your lie sits out for so long, the potency goes down on it. That's what happened to this one. I had all the oils ready. All the, oh my gosh, look how pretty that one is. I had all my oils ready and my lie ready. And I just did not feel like doing it for a few days. So, I ended up having to redo my lie. But I just want you guys to please bear with me in this time. I am really going through a lot. You know, I'm battling my soon-to-be ex-husband for my kids. And it's like he never wanted to be a daddy before this. You know, I mean, not once did he take him to the doctor. Not once, you know. I think he went to a parent meeting one time. When it comes to the kids in school isn't that pretty and it's like when my kids are over there he stays in the basement and his mom is the one that takes care of them cooks for them cleans for them does their laundry not him so i'm having to pay three thousand dollars on the lawyer that i cannot afford but i mean i'm having to do it because i will fight for my kids tooth and nail 
I mean, he's just mad because I left him. And, I mean, he knows I'm a good mom. Why he's doing this, I don't know. It's not only punishing me, but it's punishing my kids. Like, my five-year-old calls me, like, 20 times a day and tells me how much she misses me. And I love it when she does that, you know. And I just had a visit with my boys. Hopefully, all this will be over. And they can come back home. I'm even trying to move into... Ooh, that side's really pretty. I'm even trying to move into an apartment that is closer by to where he lives. That way, the kids would go to the same school. We wouldn't have to split up schools, you know. I mean, I am trying my hardest to work with him, but he just does not want to work with me. So, I'm doing the best I can, guys. Just know I'm hanging in there. I'm doing a lot of praying. That was the last piece. And I would appreciate it for all your prayers or good vibes or anything you can send my way. I'm just battling my own demons right now. And it's taking a toll on my body. I've been sick the past few days. Went to the doctor today. My blood pressure was through the roof. And I normally have very low blood pressure. Like for some reason my temperature and my blood pressure runs low. Lower than normal. And today it was 175 over 110. And that lady was like, yeah, the nurse was like, yeah, that's pretty high. So, I've just been stressed out and everything. So, just please pray for me, guys. So, that was the making and cutting of my Sangria Punch. One of my very favorite soaps. I think the blue, see the blue and on top. I think the blue, orange, and pink and white really, really made it pop. I'm happy with it. <laughs> I'm just trying to de-stress my life right now guys you know how that is how stress comes and just takes a toll on your body but I wanted to do this soap for you and I'm planning on wanting to do a soap tonight it just depends on how late it is but um, hopefully I can get one done tonight if not it'll be tomorrow but I'm going to go ahead and edit this tonight and have it uploaded I don't care how long it takes me I'm going to upload it and I promise you, the video that I put up for Q's and A's, for a Q&A, what that is, is I want you guys, and I've told you this before, but a couple people were confused about it. I want you to write your questions in the Q&A video. And then I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to print out all the questions, and I'm going to do a face-to-face, -face, like, you know, record my face, and talk about these subjects and answer any questions that you guys might have so if you've wrote a question and I didn't answer you in the comments that's why because I plan on answering them in a video I just haven't got around to it all right guys so thanks for staying tuned go ahead and smash that like button for me subscribe make sure you click the little bell right beside subscribe it'll give you all my notifications even though that's been far and few between here lately but I'm hoping to get everything back up and rolling um yeah so and also i'd like to give a shout out to my best friend stephanie steph i love you i love you with all my heart you have truly helped me through this time of need you have been there for me when no one else has besides my daughter you know my kids but i mean you are an awesome person and i love you to death so i guess that's about it guys and we'll see you on the next video Bye bye